Am I the only one who's not hating on the new characters revealed for Super Smash Bros. recently? Well, okay, let me specify. A very specific one. And I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. But, yeah, I think I'm in the minority on it that's not hating on this character. Even, even if design-wise and combat-wise, so far, the character's a clone of Mars. And, I don't know, I mean, I think it's too early to say 100%. I mean, I don't know, I, I just find it kind of weird. I mean, people, people are kind of complaining about the new character, Lucina being a clone to Marth, but yet Toon Link is in the game from Brawl, and arguably he's a clone. Well, he's a semi-clone, but that's that's besides the point. Point is, it's, it's very strange, and I may go more in-depth on that later, but you're not here to hear me talk about it. I'm just getting that out there because I'm like, I just want to let it out. It's kind of weird. I mean, you're hitting on... Lucina, but then Toon Link is a-okay? Really? I mean, who knows? Maybe like with Toon Link, they'll make her, Sakurai will make her different enough to where she's not just a flat out 100% carbon copy. You know? Kind of like uh, Wolf in Smash Bros. Brawl. I mean, people call him a clone, but in my opinion, he's not as much of a clone as people think. Having different normal attacks and stuff like that. Anyways, rant over. Anyways, hey everybody, Lee Speed here, coming with another Dueling Network video, and yes, bringing my Talea plants back again, although that's kind of debatable at this point. And what do I mean by that? I say debatable like as far as like namesake, because when I first put a deck like this together, it was last year or something like that in June, I remember it was in June, I think it was like last year or something like that in June. So it was quite a while ago. It was when Judgment of the Light was the newest set in the OCG and Talea was the new plant card in the set and she had a different name obviously. She was called uh, Thalia, Princess of Cherry Blossoms and obviously she has a different name now but yeah it's been at least a year plus since you know I, I put a rough build of this deck idea together. The idea of obviously the deck centering around getting out two copies of Talea Princess of Cherry Blossoms and then Swarm in the Field. Nowadays it's not too it's not too uncommon for a deck like this to appear. I mean Plant Princess guys, I mean granted when I first built the deck, none of the new stuff even had come out. Like, you know, Soul Charge, Mathematician, Malaya the Trees. Stuff like that. None of those cards had come out. So I had to work off of what I did have back then. And plus Lone Fire was only at one. So you could say that a lot of things have changed and the deck can evolve. So now it's not just about getting out two copies of Talea, but it has other options as well. The deck can now, you know, go for like shooting Star Dragon and various other Synchros or Exceed Monsters if it so desires. Of course, the premise is still kind of the same. And I suppose with the addition of Soul Charge, it definitely makes it more possible. But, again, that's that's if I don't brick like a motherfucker. Basically, yeah, I mean, I talked about this problem in one of my earlier videos with this deck. How I talked about, like, the hands I can get are ridiculously bad sometimes. Like, I can open, like, heavy a lot of monsters, like a lot of high-level monsters and nothing good to work with them. Or I can open a lot of weak monsters and they can't do anything. Like I don't have, like I have Junk Forward but no other monsters. Or I have Junk Forward and Junk Forward and it's kind of awkward to play with because I can make Malaya but then it's like, I don't have anything else. So this is really hit and miss. And heck, I kind of felt that way with this deck for a while. But I still play it anyways because, I mean, once you get, a, once you get the ball rolling, it's really hard to stop. For most decks anyways. Certain decks have outs because certain outs do not target or destroy. So the Talea Lock, Talea Lock, Talea Lock, Talea Lock has no effect. And obviously even if you have Titanio out, certain cards will still go through. So while they are specific, they can be quite common sometimes. And it just depends on what you're playing against. But yeah, the I haven't actually really talked much about what I did to update this deck 
But yeah, there's like a couple of new additions that I talked about before, I think, in like my track tricks deck. Obviously, I talked about Soul Charge because Lone Fire and Soul Charge is ridiculous. And heck, with that combo, I now have like a very, very, very strong opening play. Going Lone Fire into Lone Fire Blossom into Dandelion, then activating Soul Charge, bringing back the two Lone Fire Blossoms that I tributed, special summon into the field, lose 2,000 life points. Then I tribute one of the Lone Fires for Talea. Then I tribute the Dandelion with the second Lone Fire to get Titanio, and then I get two Fluff Tokens. So I end up with Lone Fire in defense, two Fluff Tokens in defense, Talea and Titanio on the field. Just off of two cards. It's pretty good. And yeah, I mean, it's not uncommon either. I mean, Lone Fire, you, I mean, you have two Lone Fire, so you can kind of get that. Now, I'm not running three Soul Charge anymore. I was running three. But the problem with running three Soul Charge, and this is this is definitely a problem that I've had, is that when I open terribly, the last thing I want to have is three Soul Charges. In fact, if I open horribly, I want to at least maybe draw into one and use that one instead of drawing into multiple copies and just having them dead for the whole game. Now, and, th and that also takes into account that, oh, you know what? I have Miracle Fertilizer too, which doesn't cost me life points. And yes, while it doesn't bring back every freaking monster I want, I can use it once each turn consistently and not have to worry about, oh, I'm losing life points, I'm gonna get OTK if my opponent just stops my play altogether, you know what I mean? So that's kind of a thing you have to keep in mind too. Now, Mathematician is a very helpful addition as well, being that he sends Lone Fire to the graveyard and obviously he's a level 3 earth monster that works with Crane Crane and all my other earth plants like Dandelion and Naturia Rose Whip to make Malaya the Trees. So he does help there too and then when he's just drawn in battle I get to draw. So he's a great partner with Crane Crane because once he dies I draw a card. Well he has to be destroyed in battle but you get the idea. I draw a card, summon Crane Crane, bring him back, make Malaya the Trees. So technically I could go for Malaya, get, to get Lone Fire, summon another plant from the deck, like Chudubime or Talea or Titania, whatever I need. I would be running Marina in here, but Marina's Marina. I really want to use her again, but I'm already having trouble. I'm already having problems where I'm drawing too many high level monsters. So I had to, you know, cut her down, cut her out of the deck for the time being. But that may change. But yes, as you can see here, this is where I have well, this is the first time summoning Goyo Guardian since the new format began. And it's pretty interesting because, yeah, I mean, it's I, I literally took out Leviathan Dragon out of my extra deck, I think, for the time being, for Goyo Guardian because Crane Crane and Rose Whip makes that in, with just one card. Or you could do what I did and go Lone Fire, tribute a Fluff Token, get Rose Whip, and then summon Goyo Guardian. So... Yeah, I mean, that's kind of a thing you have to expect, but yeah, quite a bit's changed with this deck since the first ever build I ever made. Heck, if you want to see that, I'll link it in. The, I'll put a link in the description below so you can kind of see where my journey began with um, Thalia plants back in the day. But yeah, there's Goya Guardian snatching the dragon thingy, Divine Dragon Apocalypse, and yeah, and that's pretty much the game right there, so... I'll probably do more videos on this later, but I got a Mermaid video to do shortly after this one. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. And let me know if you want me to do, like, a separate video talking about, like, the recent Smash Brothers characters, like Lucina, and talking about my, I don't know why people were kind of, like, the, the controversy, basically. All the controversy with, like, the new characters and all that other stuff. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.